Hello, hello, happy Sunday. It's Memorial Day weekend. And Michelle, we're gonna go through um, some sourcing that we've done. Good morning. Onas, Onassis sales eBay. <laughs> Sorry about that if I said it wrong. Room two. Good morning, Andrew Flores 93. So we have sourced at estate sales during this time and we've let some stuff sit out in our garage and we're actually gonna go through the items. So if you guys know the value of any of these things, so we said the name right, yes. Uh, Onassis sales eBay. Sweet, Yay. thanks for letting us know. Good morning, Gary G77. Alexa off. Good morning. So we're gonna have a little bit of unboxing experience because we have sore stuff on estate sales and we haven't looked through them. Yeah, so we're gonna look through the items and share with you. Um, some things we, we don't even know the value, so if you can let us know what you know. Without further ado, Michelle, what are you cutting open right now? I don't, I don't know, but um, so what happens was we bought this um, online bidding, an item through an estate sales online bidding. Okay. And I won the item for a dollar. All right. It's nicely, it looks like it's nicely packaged. Here, let me do it. With um, bubble wrap. So good morning, honey treasures. Good morning, Thrifty Mama 4. Today's topic is estate sale hauls we did we actually went through a few estate sales oh be careful be careful be careful i got it omg that's why i was opening it because these items are vintage so look at this so michelle bought this at an estate sale it's a vintage scrabble game so what year is it from the year um it looks super duper old it doesn't it says um, there are Cell Chow and Rider games, whatever that means. I'm going to open it to see if I could find the year. Oh, never mind. We found it. It says here it's 1975. So this is going to go on our Etsy store because it's a vintage item. 75. Exciting stuff. But this is called Crossword Dominoes. How crazy. And it's Scrabble brand, which is insane because it's like, what was this, like the initial Scrabble? But they have like two letters on oh, wow. it's like, like one little thing. It's kind of like dominoes. Really, really interesting. Oh, um, interesting. Wow, awesome. Okay. Okay, next item. This is something uh, I won on a, an online auction as well. Honey Treasure says, oh wow, I love Scrabble. <laughs> so we want to show you guys out as we are recording and we're going to be uploading this to our podcast. So good morning, Andrew Flores 93. Good morning, Gary G 77. Good morning, Honey Treasures. Good morning, Thrifty Mom of Four. So we've had great experience selling patches on Etsy. And I was eyeing on this lot of patches. And here, good morning, Irish Lux. Thanks for joining us as we go through our estate sale hauls. We did a lot of bidding and sourcing online and they have online estate sale auctions. So these are really cool. Um, I want this entire lot. Um, it's got these army patches and pins and, and, and a lot, I think a lot of people are looking for these items to um, create some kind of artwork on Etsy. And I have, we've got like tons of them. So we may sell them as a lot. So um, what year are these? I have no clue. We're going to have to do research on that. Um, are you guys familiar with these icons? They're really cool. Yeah, definitely. They get really geeked out. And there's some pins. Yeah, these cool pins. So patches have done really well for us. Um, if you guys ever find them at estate sales, pick them up because they, they sell really, really well. Okay, so let's go to our next one. What is A5? Is it an airplane? No, I'm making it up. All right, so we're gonna go on to our next uh, hauls here. I can clean it up and you can start. All so right. we're gonna tell you guys, actually I wanna know, what did you pay for the Scrabble game? What did you pay for the The Scrabble patches? game was a dollar. So we paid a dollar for this. they did ship it to us, so it was around $7 for shipping. And how much were the... Those were four bucks. Four dollars? For the entire thing. And no shipping? You didn't have to pay for um, shipping? I paid for, it was very little. Uh, the total was 10 bucks. So $10 for the patches. Okay. With shipping. So that's very different. We're not paying for gas now, but we're paying for yeah, shipping. Exactly. Okay. So now 
We have another, those were two separate estate sale auctions. Correct. We have this other online estate sale auction that we did. We got, we paid like 90, can you pull up the price? $96. 96 bucks. So for all these toys, we paid $35, they're vintage. And okay, here's the first toy we got. It's a Winnie the Pooh. This says it is from Disneyland. It says product of Korea, so that's how you know that it's old and that it's a um, vintage because, you know, even in the 90s, they started making things in China. So that's pretty cool. So this there's another one. one. It's actually branded as Sears. So Sears is closing down. So this is probably going to worth some money if you look at here. Sears. So this is, I think it's vintage and it's in really good condition. Uh, we've got this Mickey Mouse. Look at look at how different Mickey looks. Mickey looks completely different now, so you could tell this is vintage. And look at the tag. Check this out. This is so cool. The tag here has the old Disney logo, and this was nine dollars. And um, I I would love to know what year this is from. And here's another logo. This is a vintage Disney logo, product of Korea. Um, so one way that I could find what year this is from is from the logo because it has this, this little um, globe, Mickey, Mickey with a globe logo. So if you guys know what year this is from, please let us know. And this person really liked um, like Mickey. And Disney stuff. Pinocchio, look at how cute Pinocchio is. OMG. And this is, um, it has the, I think this is really vintage too. It has the old Disney logo. Um, the year is not here, so I think this is pretty rare. Good morning, Lauren D. L. I. Um, good morning, Jessica, the Bustamante, and thanks for joining us. We are unboxing our real estate, I mean real estate, estate sales find. So I've got that Pinocchio, and this is another um, vintage Winnie the Pooh Sears. So I can sell this as a set. These two would definitely go together. They're from Sears. Sears is going to go away, so these are gonna worth more money together as a set. And then we've got another one, Winnie the Pooh, um, Disneyland, Walt Disney World. So the cool thing about looking at Disney toys is that when you have a tag that says Walt Disney World, it means it's from Florida. So that makes it really rare. Um, so Walt Disney World, it says here, and normally at Disney Store, you get um, the tag that would say Disney Store or Disney Only. So anything Walt Disney World is really rare. All right, so we've got some more here. Good Let's morning, see. Lauren D. L. I. Good morning, Jesse Buzmonte. Good morning, uh... Okay, good. Yeah, sorry, I had to go get our dog. She was barking. We've so. got another Disney vintage Mickey plush here. And um, let's see, where's the other one? I was, think, I was saying of how Mickey has evolved. The look of Mickey. Mm -hmm. um, even look at the eyes. Yeah, totally different. So it must be different years, huh? Yeah, this one has no tag. I couldn't find a tag, but I think that's even more vintage than this one. Definitely. Because the eye is way non, not, not Mickey-like. Yep. Cool. So that's that. Okay. So which ones do we need to go through? This that. one here? Okay. So we yeah. went through all the Mickey stuff, and then we got a lot of... A basket of teddy bears. These are from... I wish there was a year here. Um, sea World, I believe this is this is yep, this is from Sea World in San Diego. Can you explain what it is for the podcast so people and this is know what you're what what you're talking about? It's a killer whale. It's a killer whale. Yeah. And this is a Muppet. Is that a Muppet? You put your hand in there. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Um, this is like one of those, yeah, it's a Muppet thing. Like you put your hand inside and you can do like a little play. This was really popular in the 90s doing this. This one is from 1988. It's a lion plush. Is this a lion? It looks like a lion, yeah. Like a Simba. Like a. Simba. Good morning, Caffeine and Cashmere. How you doing? We're going through our estate sale halls. There's Min another teddy bear from the Newman Importing Company. And then we've got this. Do you know anything about this? It's a hush puppy. Pound puppy. The pound puppies. Yeah, that was really popular. This is cute. It says, be a regard belongs to... Oh, it talks about who it belonged to. But here it is. Pound puppies. They used to have a... Um, they used to have like a cartoon on TV. Good morning, first e-commerce by me. How you doing? This is made by Tonka, and it's also made in Korea. Tonka, like the Tonka truck? Yeah, like the Tonka truck company. That's so, cool. um, it's really cool. This is awesome. This is a another <laughs> a teddy bear that is named First Skin. I think these are all vintage brands, so we're gonna have to look them up. Do you guys know anything about these these brands and how much they're worth right now? That any insights would be awesome. So this is a gray whale. It's uh, from a Fiesta toy, 1995. So this one's sort of, it's vintage 1995 still. is vintage. Anything b below the year 2000 is considered vintage. Okay, let's see. Uh, just like a little tiger. No, I think it's an off brand. It's a little logo bear. And then here's a little cat. A cute little cat. Oh my gosh, it's super cute. This, no brand, no brand, but it's really cute. This person collected <laughs> a lot of stuff. A animals. lot of cats. Another cat here. There's another cat, but this is like, has a little wind up feature on it. Oh, wow. And it works. It's a musical collection. From 1984. From 1984 and Whoa. it works. That's really cool. Plays music. Good morning, Jesse Bustamante. Good morning, first e-commerce by me. I think I've already said hi to you guys. So Jesse said something. Yep, Jesse Bustamante said, Pam Puppies, blast from the past. Yeah, I remember those. Okay, we do have one last basket of plushes. Yeah. So we have a raggedy, she looks like a raggedy Ann, kind of. Um, let me see if there's a tag on her. There's no tag, so. No, this is Annie. This is Annie. Do you guys remember Annie? Oh. Definitely Blast from the Past as well. Annie is the one that sings tomorrow. Yeah, she, this is cool. I like this. Um, okay. What year is it from? Um, there's no tag on that one. This is, looks like a Raggedy Ann toy. Um, but again, there's no tag on it either. Yeah, how do, so how, do you guys know, have any tips on how to find what year these items are from? Oh yeah, Lauren D L I said it looked like Annie, so she got it too. This is like a Raggedy Ann as well. So we have like the Raggedy Ann girl with the dress and the boy, um, but they're not like a brand, so. Is this homemade? That one, I don't know. That one looks like it's like the real thing, actually, the Annie. No. Here's another pound puppy. That's cool. So I guess it's like the brother of the other one. The logo's on the back there. And I love, um, on the tag here, it says it's by Tonka, and it's made in Korea. So that's really, really that's awesome. That's so interesting. That's before they move everything to China, probably. Way before, yeah, yeah. for sure. And um, probably in the 80s, I want to say. Here's uh, Eeyore from Disney OMG. This is really cool. It says, Walt Disney Distributing Company, Buena Park. No, Bu Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Walt Disney Productions. This is an official toy from Walt Disney. Look, look at the logo too. It looks so handmade. It is so cool. It's not, right? Look at the logo here. <laughs> I love the tag. It is so awesome. Um, Honey Treasure says, Google Lens. Take a pic and search on Google Lens. Ooh, that's Google a good tip. Google Lens. Cool. We have never done that before. So All right. For that tip. This is called... Redwood Bear. Do you know anything about Redwood Bear? No, I do not. Um, it's so cute. And it says $10 retail. It has a little birdie on its hat, and it's wearing like a <laughs> Parisian uh, what it, beret. Yeah. You know what it is? Here's a 
cute little bear. It's a musical bear. It's uh, from the Shanti collection. This one does say made in China and it's the year 2000. So it is considered vintage, but by the year 2000, everything was already starting to be made in China. Here's another bear. So this person organized all their toys in different baskets. So we went through the Disney one. Now it's a bear, uh, bear basket. It's from 1984 from Schmid. And this one has that musical thing too. A wind up toy. A wind up toy. Oh, be careful winding that. And it that. works. <laughs> Here's a really cute little bear in Christmas attire. Look at the cute slippers. <laughs> right? So cute. Good morning, Extreme OCD. Happy Sunday. Um, anyway, cute little Christmas bear. It's no brand. The, the brand kind of came off there. And this is the last piece, which is a zebra from uh, Kids of America. So... We went through the stuffed toys. We're going to go through... Um, oh, you have something to say? No, I'm done. So You're done? We're going right. to go through... Stationary. stationary. We bought a bunch of stationary. So, uh, believe it or not, people on Etsy, they actually, you know, these are all going to go to Etsy. People on Etsy really find stationaries and vintage stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't matter, um, like, if you are selling Christmas valentine's easter people buy stationaries on etsy all year long um we've had good success selling stationery so if you ever see some old stationery that's cute pick it up put it on etsy so we're going to go through some things um that we found here so first of all um this is just a cute little notebook it says favorite things collection and um it is it does look super vintage look at the back there so it's got 40 uh decorated sheet pads then we have um if you find anything interesting michelle just sh we could show it these to are 39 cents and they're just notepads it says bet you're not surprised to get a letter from me bet you're amazed so yeah so i'll so yeah and here's another one um so this is like supposed to be funny stationery, and these are from 1964, That's right? That's crazy. Um, Lauren, Lauren DLI said, wow, never thought of stationery. Extreme OCD said, um, actually, hold on. Extreme OCD said, Etsy and Frail are the two I haven't played with yet. Oh, Grailed, Grailed, yeah. Yeah, we we put stuff on Grailed, but I don't think we've it's sold yet for us. Um, Etsy, you guys got to get on if you're not on already. It, it The profit margins are amazing. Customers are amazing. Um, but check out this stationery. It says there's a lady on the side, really thin lady, dressed in like, I don't know, really old attire. And she says, same old paper, same old pen, same old request to same old friend. Please write soon. So again, this is from 1964, the year my mother was born, which is awesome. Here. Anything else cool that you found? That's okay. Cool. This is kind of cool. It's, a notepad. it's just a really, really cool notepad. It looks handmade. So this is the kind of stuff that does well on Etsy. Um, and inside the note paper is like like a wood print. This is very beautiful gift. Um, and on the cover it's textured. Um, and I wish it said where it was made cause for sure this has definitely got to be like handmade in the USA or something. Um, I these are our greeting cards. We actually, we actually have four boxes of them. <laughs> this is really cute. Um, again, super vintage back in the day. This looks like Bambi right here. There's 24 sheets and 24 seals. It says. So here are the sheets. And you actually fold these. They're like little um, back in the day before text messaging. Extreme OCD says, have a nice day, ladies. Just stop to listen and watch to have to finish my FBA shipment. All right, go get them, Extreme OCD. Thanks for stopping by. Um, but this is so cute. Every sheet is different. You fold them up, you put a stamp, and you write a message. Like, honestly, how cute would that be to be doing this right now during quarantine time? I feel like snail mail is having a comeback, right? How cute would it be to get a message like this in the mail? Okay, so good morning, Cotton Waves. 
So this stationery is so freaking funny and cute. It says just a little behind and it's like a, a rabbit with a little cotton tail on there sticking out. Is this handmade? This is made in the USA by Hallmark. If you guys know Hallmark is very famous for their stationery. And it made in the USA, it's got to be super vintage, right? Good morning, Michelle Ben 8. And oh, look how freaking cute that is. And wishing you a happy birthday. Oh, this is adorable. So a little cotton tail. This is a belated birthday card and it opens up to this cute little bunny. Yeah, the cool so thing about cute. vintage cards is that you can't find it anywhere. It's not like you go to Target and you pick a card. And they look really different. Um, super cool. Here's another Hallmark. It says line dropper postcard. So this kind of takes you back in a history, right? Now text messaging, Zoom calling, you know, IG Live, those are the things. But before, it was popular to send your friends and family a little note in the mail. So here's a line dropper postcard. Look how cute she is right there. That little girl, that girl there in the picture. And um, it's really really cool i noticed like you could put a little place for stamps there um every card is a little postcard it says you can put your message here and your stamp on the corner so um, i love how this includes a stamp holder right so you can like go through them and mail them out good morning Rio cells how you doing honestly i'm kind of in love with this print i think it's so cute and it's just a bunch of these little postcards how adorable are these colors? Vintage colors, right? Like real vintage colors. And there's 20 cards it says here on the back. All right, do you wanna, you wanna keep going? Yeah, did you there? find anything else that was cute? I would let you kind of go through stuff. Sure. Kind of um, these are like cute little poppy cards. I mean, again, you know, it's gonna, these are gonna do really well on Etsy. Um, Check out our Etsy store if you want to get an idea of what we have and what has sold on there. It's Flippin' Gals at Etsy. Um, and Michelle, you didn't find anything else? Okay. I think we're going to be done with the stationery for now. We'll, we'll be uploading those things within the next week or two so you can see them all pop up. We're going to look at clothes now. On our Etsy store. And last but not least, we got a big box of vintage clothes for $15 from that same estate sale. Good morning, Justina Erna, 1984. How you doing this lovely Sunday? I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. So I'll, I'll start with the first. We're not gonna go through the whole box, but we'll show you guys like maybe a few and give us your feedback if you have any, okay? Comments. So um, this is brand new shirt. It has never been worn. Just kind of want you guys to note the design. I, what I'm also holding, I don't know if you guys remember in the 80s, if any of you guys are from the 80s or have family, on the shoulder, like, these pads were really popular. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't understand. I don't really shoulder understand pads. why. But do you remember shoulder pads? Oh, yeah. Did you wear those when you were a kid? mom. No. I mean, I did wear them. Oh, I totally had stuff with shoulder pads. Did anybody else wear stuff with shoulder pads Wait, when they were in the 80s? why do our shoulders need pads? But wasn't it only for women, too? Because yeah, I don't think men had women shoulder yeah, pads, right? It was for women. Who invented shoulder pads? So Rhea says she that. remembers. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, I don't understand the whole shoulder pad thing, but I think it's kind of cool. This is large. This is made in the USA. Um, it's an excellent quality. Um, again, it was one of those. It was never worn. It comes from a very popular large retail store. I don't know if you guys remember. Called The Broadway. The Broadway? The Broadway. Large res resale store. Good morning, Jayhan19. How you doing? So that's this. Wait, this is vintage. We, yes. we we had this. Um, we had a live and podcast that talked about being vintage. So yes. this is how you could tell. They show first of all, it's made in the USA. Second, it shows the style number and the lot. And this is made in USA. Super vintage, and it's new. Yeah, that one's a really great piece. This one, um, I think it's also vintage. It also has shoulder pads. Um, the quality though between this one and that one is very very different this one does say made in China so we started getting stuff made in China like around the 90s um, you know interesting print this would be awesome um, like for a party you know like a 90s party you want to this would go really cute with like white pants um, but yeah so that one's 
vintage but made in China. Anything from made in the USA is going to be much more valuable, of course, than made in China. Something cool. I got to show this print, though. Just check out these prints, you know. This is made in India, which is also, you know, vintage, 1990. Check out the uh, the lo the um, logos and everything. Check out this print. It's a little crazy. Again, it has those very interesting shoulder pads things going on, right? This is a vintage Eddie Bauer linen shirt. And you can see from the tag, it's super vintage. Um, it is made in Guatemala. And it's it was made, oh, actually made in Hong Kong. Sorry, it was made in Hong Kong. And um, it's very orangey. I wonder if people would still um, dress, what, wear these type of clothes and walk on the street. I think so. I think people, I think it's in fashion now to wear vintage items. It's super cool. Yeah, it's super, super in fashion to, to dress like this now, actually. A lot of like popular brands are remaking vintage things from the 90s for people to wear. So Ooh, this one is This one's cool. nice. It's an Eddie Bauer shirt. Um, again, th well, this one is made in China, so it's not vintage. Okay, go ahead and show that one. Check this out. A t-shirt that says Playboy Jazz Festival in Hollywood Bowl. This was in 1992. Is that vintage? Uh, yes, it is. Anything before 2000. Oh, we got a vintage t-shirt here. Um, but yes, this is, is this single stitch? It is single stitch. Guys, yeah. this is single stitch. Yeah, so if you guys aren't, awesome. are not familiar with single stitch, then we had um, a recent live that talked about it. You can go back and listen to how to tell vintage clothes. Um, you're going to look for single stitching versus double stitching. Here's another single stitch. I did want to show you guys because like back in the 90s, this was really, really popular. Jazzer's size. I don't know if you guys know, um, are familiar with this, but this was like a big trend and exercise back then. So check out this cool Jazzer size shirt. This is definitely <laughs> a winner for like a 90s theme party. Lauren DOI said, yes, I sold my vintage champion that I kept all these years for $125. Wow. Right on. Exactly, right? Like, champion is from the 90s, Fila's from the 90s, and, like, you cannot almost tell them apart. And if you do have the original, they are worth a lot of money right now. This one's really cool. Okay. Yeah, that's this one's this. cool because I like the neon. I think, I feel like these neon colors are coming back. This is from 1991, Cinco de Mayo. And um, Fiesta, I believe this was probably an event that that person went to. I like the design, very cool. So again, we're looking for the single stitch. This is a single stitch shirt, so it tells you that it is vintage. Um, actually, it says on there, 1987-1988, and they're featuring the giant panda at the San Diego Zoo. All right, check this out. Massimo and oh, hello. Massimo made in USA. Whoa, that's a good one. Massimo. That, made so in, in the 90s, I gotta <laughs> say in the 90s, Massimo was super trendy and it was expensive. Now you can get Massimo at Target, but back in the 90s you could not. That's cool. That's a good one. Yeah. You think someone would buy this? Oh, heck yeah. That's a really, really good one. And check out another Jazzercise shirt. I think this one's really cool. <laughs> you find any more? I know a mask. Yeah, I know. Um, let's see. I guess we'll unveil this one. Oh, this is just like a shirt. There was a Neil Diamond concert shirt too. With culture like this, who needs arts? Okay. This one's... No? Okay. Whew! Anyway, so um, I think we're going to go, yeah, the, the Massimo is a good one. I wonder how much those would go for now. Um, but I remember that being so trendy when I was in middle school back in the 90s, um, and they were just so expensive. Fila was cute. also so expensive back in the 90s and very, very cool and trendy. Um, this is super cute, little lamb and oh, the duck awesome. and the rabbit, super cute. This, this awesome. is a double stitch. So I just want you guys to see. 
This is not vintage because it has a two stitches on the sleeves. Here's another single stitch. I'm gonna sell that as a bundle, what do you think? So this one is a single stitch. Again, I wanted to show you guys. So that's how you know it's vintage. So that's what, a Playboy festival. But my question is, when did the vin, when did the vintage when did the double st stitch start happening? Do you know? Maybe year two thousand. This is nineteen ninety one. I love that one. That's a cool graphic. Playboy Jazz Festival. Nineteen ninety one. Very cool. That is very very cool. All right. Cool. So this one is also single stitch. It's the nineteen ninety two NHL All Star Game. NHL is hockey. Yep. Oh, that is. Oh, that's sweet. Cool. 1992. That's a really cool shirt. So, Rhea sells Ocean Pacific was a good brand for men in the late 80s. Yeah, and I used to wear Ocean Pacific too in high school, which was in the 90s. Um, it was also a really good brand. Oh, check this out. And one. I heard recently that Walmart now sells OP. I did oh, not. Shit. I didn't know that. I just I'm heard sorry. that recently. This one is, whoa, this is so cool, you guys. This is definitely one of our better scores. Made in the USA. This is a tie dye. Look at that, Los Angeles Kings. Does that even exist anymore? Los Angeles Kings? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, it does. 1988, you guys, NHL. <sighs> Look at this. It's officially licensed. This. Well, we're in LA area. This is a big, big team and Look, you can tell, where is all that tie-dye coming from? 1980s, right here. Tie-dye. Rhea Sells says, love that. Yeah, we still have a lot in the box, but I think... Yeah, we're, we're going to end with that here. <laughs> amazing, awesome King's find. I think we really scored on this shirt here. Again, we paid $15 for the box. Um, our total haul price was 96 for everything you saw um, and didn't see. And we're gonna work really hard on uploading these things into our store um, on Etsy, which is Flipping Gals on Etsy. We also have a new store that we're gonna be debuting soon called the uh, Flipping Gals Marketplace. And if you guys wanna check out like what's been selling, what hasn't, hop on those stores and check them out. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful Sunday. We hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend and we will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.